This is another work in progress update for my A Fear in Faith audiobook narrated by Daryl Mayfield. Let's take a listen. This is an excerpt from chapter four. Next day, Sonora was back in Azufa's office, but surprisingly, Mike was nowhere to be found, and neither was the good-looking special agent. He stepped out ten minutes ago and had yet to return. She sat in the same chair as she had yesterday. It was wooden, but not as uncomfortable as it looked. Besides, she didn't want to get too comfortable. She didn't particularly like coming to the police station, or the courthouse where Makina worked for that matter. Too much residual energy from the auras of criminals and the mentally unstable. Sonora reached into her satchel and removed her iPad. She might as well get some work done while she waited for Asufa to return. Five minutes later, there was a knock at the door. Sonora stood. Enter. The door opened, revealing a surprised and pretty Latina with jet black hair pulled into a tidy bun at her nape. No necklaces, no rings, no earrings, not even studs. Just a sturdy leather watch that looked as if it could take a beating adorned her stalwart frame. Dressed in navy blue dress slacks and a white button-up blouse, the woman's large round eyes skated over Sonora, taking her measure in a quick but thorough perusal. Where's Special Agent Berber? The woman asked, but Sonora heard the unspoken question of, Who are you? From a badge she'd seen most of her life, like Mike, the woman was a detective, her shield attached to the side of her belt. Almost as tall as Sonora, the detective radiated self-assurance, her posture steel pole perfect. I'm not sure, but you can leave him a message. With you. Ah, uh, tone there. The detective may have carried a weapon, but the full human would do well to not awaken Sonora's fire spirit. Sonora grabbed a pad and pen from Asufa's desk, then turned back to the detective. I was thinking you could just write him a note. She extended the items to the woman. Apparently, that steel pole went beyond her back, because the detective didn't move, smile, take the items, or do anything other than stare at her. Sonora smiled. The woman clearly had no job-related business with Asufa. The attractive detective was on a different sort of business that apparently required a fresh coat of lipstick and too much perfume. Please let him know Detective Pilar Salazar stopped by. No problem, Detective. Nice to meet you. Not that we introduced ourselves. But Sonora knew when a woman thought another was encroaching on her territory, whether she could rightfully claim the male in question or not. And Sonora couldn't help but wonder if she was referring to herself or Detective Salazar.